The gun used to kill President Kennedy yesterday was purchased from a sporting goods company here in Chicago. A killer ordered the weapon through the mail. He bought it last March 20th using the name of A. Heidel, the assumed name and the handwriting on the envelope that uh, was used to order the gun has been identified as the handwriting of the man in custody in Dallas. The gun was purchased from the Klein Sporting Goods Company of 227 West Washington Street in Chicago. You see here the catalog that was used. The gun is described a late military issue. $12.78 is the price. And it was ordered from the Klein Sporting Goods Company of 227 West Washington Street in Chicago. The Klein Company has been unwilling to comment on this. No doubt all the officials of the firm are appalled at their involuntary, wholly involuntary involvement in this tragedy because, of course, the company has done nothing wrong. Imagine, if you can, how you would feel if you knew that you had been involved in any way in the assassination of the president. For more on this aspect of the tragedy now, here is Hugh Hill. We are in the lobby of the Seneca Hotel on Chicago's near north side. In this hotel lives Mr. Milton Klein, who is the owner of Klein Sporting Goods Stores. We are trying to get to Mr. Klein to make an interview with him and ask him for some information concerning the purchase of the rifle which killed President Kennedy. So far, we have been unable to talk to Mr. Klein. This is the Klein Sporting Goods magazine, which is put out each year. This happens to be the winter and spring edition of 1963 and 1964, catalog number 500. On page 10 of that catalog is listed the very rifle that was purchased by Lee Harvey Oswald under the name of A. Heidel. It's very simple to purchase this gun. It only cost $12.78. If you buy the scope with it, it only costs $19.95 and you can buy six rounds of ammunition for $7.50. The gun is described in the catalog as follows. Late military issue, 6.5 Italian carbine, only 40 inches overall, weighs just seven pounds, shows only slight use, excellent brush gun, test fired and head spaced for shooting, turn down bolt, six shot, clip fed, notch rear sight, thumb safety, 18-inch barrel, and then it gives the number C20-1196. Then the price, $12.78. You simply send this coupon in to the Klein Sporting Goods Company, which is located at 227 West Washington Street in Chicago. You can purchase the gun with the scope and the ammunition for around $25. It's now been established that Lee Harvey Oswald purchased a gun of that type from the Klein Company here in Chicago under an assumed name of A. Heidel, and he had it sent to a post office box in Dallas. It's been established that the post office box was rented by Lee Harvey Oswald, the man in custody in Dallas. So we come now to the end of the second day of this nightmare. Chicago's grief has been expressed in many ways since the first news was flashed from Dallas yesterday. All of us know that words are feeble tools at a time like this for the expression of what we feel. Chicago's mayor, who gloried, and rightfully so, in his close personal friendship with the President of the United States, strove to maintain control today as he spoke to a special memorial service in the chambers of the Chicago City Council. Whereas the blazing courage and great vitality of youthful leadership were taken from us in one tragic moment by the assassination of John Fitzgerald Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States, and whereas he personified the American dream being a descendant of Irish immigrants who came to our shores in the early 1850s, and whereas his wisdom and understanding were vividly portrayed in his writings, including the prize-winning profile and courage, and whereas he never forgot that he and his generation were the heirs of the first revolution and his life was dedicated to the cause of freedom and democracy, 
And whereas his political philosophy, symbolizing the concept of the new frontier, mirrored the hopes and the dreams of the people of his nation and the world. And whereas no man so fully understood the challenge of peace in a nuclear world was a challenge to the life and meaning of all humanity. And whereas in the name of freedom and human dignity, he met the test of supreme crisis with skill and courage and forced the withdrawal of Soviet missiles from nearby shores. And whereas his name was synonymous with the cause of peace, democracy, and human welfare among all the people of the world, the free world has lost a great leader. Our country has lost a great president. I have lost a personal friend. Immediately after that service at City Hall, the mayor and Mrs. Daly left O'Hare Field for Washington. Tonight, they went to the White House to pay their last respects to President Kennedy.